this is Science Made Simple. I'm Dr. Boyd the Chemist. Is it possible to make a cloud in a jar? Today we're going to find out. Here's what you'll need. You're going to need a glass container that's transparent. Choose one with a metal lid. You're going to need some water that you'll have to heat up later on. You'll need an aerosol can like Lysol or some hairspray. And lastly, you're gonna need some ice. Now, one detail to pay attention to for later on, I'm gonna take the ice, place it inside the lid, and then put it on top of the container. You'll see that in the video. Clouds are collections of moisture that we see in the sky. They can be white, gray, or even very dark gray in color. There are also many types of clouds. For example, there are cirrus clouds, stratus, and even cumulus clouds. In fact, during thunderstorms, you might see a cumulonimbus cloud. In the simplest terms, clouds are collections of tiny water droplets or ice crystals that are lighter than air. They form when water vapor condenses onto tiny dust particles that are floating in the air. Tiny droplets form around each particle. When enough of these tiny droplets come together, a cloud forms. And here's a little known fact. Clouds are actually heavy, very heavy. So today we're actually gonna try to make our own cloud. Let's get started. We're once again using hot water, so you wanna be careful when handling it. Also, you don't wanna spray your Lysol or hairspray directly at anyone. I would recommend putting the metallic lid in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes or longer prior to beginning so that your lid is amply cold. Now carefully pour the hot water into your jar. You wanna make sure that the water isn't so hot that a lot of condensation forms on the inside of the jar before you finish the experiment because you won't be able to see your cloud form. Fill the jar about one third of the way up with the hot water. Spray the Lysol directly into the jar for about a second. Now, quickly place the metallic lid on top of the jar and place the ice on top of it. Notice that my lid is actually upside down in order to prevent the melting ice from making a wet mess. If you look at the top of the inside of the glass, you'll begin to see your cloud forming. The cloud is created when water vapor from the hot water forms and rises to the top of the container. Once it reaches the cold lid at the top, it condenses. Now this process alone does not create the cloud. The cloud forms because of the presence of particles in the jar from your spray. This is similar to moisture in our atmosphere forming clouds when moisture comes in contact with dust in the air. Pretty cool, huh?